Hey guys, it is Josiah here, back with another unboxing reviews. It's been a couple days since I posted. I've been kind of sick recently with some allergies and plus a stomach bug kind of showed up Monday morning. That kind of postponed everything, so I do apologize for that. Uh, but I got most of Wave 4, all but the Kyle Bush, which is one I'm really expecting. Uh, I also got uh, Wave 10 Eric Jones, the Darlington throwback that's sitting to the right of me here. That will be one of the short uh, boxes that I do because it feels weird kind of putting it in with a bunch of Wave 4 stuff. So I'll do the Wave 4 unboxing here and then I'll do that unboxing on, on my shorts and all that whatnot. So you guys continue to show love and support for it. Uh, I love it. Keep up the keep up the support. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all of it. And yeah, let's uh, get on with it with yet another unboxing reviews. Up first, we got Brandon Jones's 2023. I think this is a 20. This is a 2023 car because this is his. He was not in the nine last season, so we actually got not just a 2023 wave, but 2023 cars and a truck even in, in here. Well, that's the 2022 championship. Spoiler alert. <laughs> But that's his uh, Menards car, Brandon Jones, for the Xfinity Series, so let's unbox it. Nice die cast right here. Uh, Menards number 9, B. Jones for Brandon Jones. Here's the actual die cast. Very nice, vibrant yellow, which has always been Menards, and it's always popped out. It's always been nice, the vibrant yellow. That's a ton of... That's every single sponsor in the book in the in the rear of Brandon Jones' car right there. That's 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 wow. Right there, there it is again. Uh, very nice die cast, very, very nice die cast. I never actually got his number 19 Xfinity Series die cast. So this is the first time I actually have a Brandon Jones die cast. I, yeah, yeah, this is the first time I got a Brandon Jones die cast. It looks really nice. I'll match the car number and say this is a 9 out of 10. Uh, that's not the last Xfinity die cast. Uh, we got like two more coming up here. Next one up is a fan favorite, obviously, Dale and Hart Jr.'s number 80 Bass Pro Shops uh, club card or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm sniffing. Jeez, uh, but I don't think he's ran this car because I think he's he's running like what two races in the Xfinity Series. I think one of them's at Bristol. I know that. I forgot where the other one's at. Um, so this car actually hasn't even been ran on um, run on track yet, uh, but it will be, and uh, that's uh, something everyone's looking forward to. It's gonna be awesome when he does. But let's unbox it. Okay, eighty-eight Bass Pro Shops, BassProShops.com. And here's the actual doy cast sitting right here. I don't know where the accent was. I'm being weird again. Anyways, uh, 88 Car Club. You got his Hellman sponsor. As what the heck is? That's a that's a dust bunny that I just saw right there. Oh my socks! Sorry about that. I just saw that. That was a spider for a second. It freaked me out. Uh, tractor. I have no idea what this is because this the is this uh, foam not focus boats ATV. I think that's what it says. I don't know. Uh, it's a nice diecast. I like it. Again, like I mentioned before on one of the other bum boxes, I just don't like orange. Orange is not one of, one of my favorite colors. Like, it's it's just like the actual orange flavor. I used to hate it, then it grew on me. I actually like orange now, but the color is like, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's it's just, ah, it's a little bleh. I don't, I don't really care for it. Uh, but this, but the black kind of matches it, and it's kind of nice. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 to match it with the car number. Uh, it's just... I don't know if I'm going to be doing that for all the all these unboxes uh, here, but I don't know. Let's move on to the next one. We might as well do the other, and the the last of the trio of the car, the Xfinity cars that are in Wave 4 here in 2023. That's Josh Berry's 2023 Tire Pros. Let's unbox it. All right, Tire Pros. Love the drive, number 8, Josh Berry. And I like Josh Berry, too. He's one of my favorite, one of my favorite Xfinity drivers. Maybe one of my, maybe like my second favorite. Actually, I really am a big fan of Josh Berry, but uh, here's the extra die cast, number 8, Tire Pros. That's right, this looks very similar to his 2022 scheme that was also in NASCAR at the Knicks last year. I can't remember what that wa what wave was, but here's the difference here, which you can see, it's like, it's almost like they swapped the colors. Like, like for here, you put, it was black last year, and now it's white. This is, like, like there was more black on this one, and here it's like there's, there's more red on this one. Uh, but, yeah, that's, uh, like, last year's was fine. I, I actually like, la I mean, maybe I like last year's better. I actually, I do like last year's better. This one's still pretty good, really good, though. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Not matching the car number, but it is still a 7 out of 10 for Josh Berry right here. Let's move on to the next diecast. I am thirsty, my goodness. Anyways, Chris Buescher's Pollock Casino Spy Resort. Uh, uh, 2023 diecast. Let's unbox it. 
Well, I don't know. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that he ran it for the Pilot Casino 400 Auto Club earlier this season. I think he did. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't paying attention to him in this race. I, if he did, I don't know. I don't know if he ran well in the race or not. Because I clearly don't remember, but <laughs> I think it's clear. Pilot Casino Spy Resort number 17, Chris Busher. Christopher Busher, as NBC guys have been calling it. I'm calling him. And I don't like it. I don't like Christopher Busher. I mean,. That's up to him. That's 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 his name. That's not my name. But anyway, seventeen Pollock Casino, fit their bank fast and all, all in there. Uh, this is it's unique because like it's it's purple mixed with gray. It's like I mean, uh, it, you could take all the colors and mix it. I mean, everyone knows that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's 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 weird. It's a it's an interesting mix. That's like it's unique. Like it's uh, yeah, it's it's unique. I'll leave it at that. It's unique. It's unique. It's definitely unique. And you know what? It actually kind of works. It kind of, it kind of works. I'll, I'll say it works. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. You know what? It's kind of nice. Actually, do I give it a 7 out of 10 or do I bump it up to like 8 or 9? I'll give it a 7 out of 10 right now because why not? I don't want to spend like 5 minutes thinking of ratings and then 1 minute on boxing because that's kind of stupid. But let's move on to the next one. Kevin Harfix 2023 Green Forever Diecast. Very, very good that we get a 2023 Kevin Harvick diecast in here for his final full-time NASCAR Cup Series season. End of an era. He was the man that tapped in for the legendary Dale Earnhardt after his death in the Daytona 500 2001. Tragic day for NASCAR, but luckily he came out in Atlanta, edged out Jeff Gordon, and got that infamous win that everyone knows and loves. And that's how Kevin Harvick, and that is, that is where... It all took off. I, I forgot what that saying is, and that, and, and the history, I, bro. There's a saying. There's an easy saying, and I can't remember it. And the rest is history. That's what it is. He won, and then the rest is history. And I just hit my head on my new bed frame ladder that's sitting right here. But anyways, and enough rambling. Let's unbox this for crying out loud. <laughs> all right, it's still stifling. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you could hear that there, uh, for Kevin Harvick, forever Reams, Stuart Haas. Here's the actual diecast. Very nice. I, I got one of the... There, there was a ring car. Uh, I can't remember if it was like... It was like purple or pink or something. I think it was like for breast cancer awareness. I could be wrong about that. But I think that was in like wave 10 or something. I can't remember what it was, when, what wave it was. Uh, for ream, uh, dot com. Um I got to actually look in the back of this Eric Jones. Because I think it was... Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's the purple. Uh, or the pink. Excuse me. Uh, I'm too lazy to go, go get the diecast, even though it's right there. That's the, that's the diecast from Wave 10. Here's the diecast now. Obviously, that was in the PC mold. That pink one was. This is in the yellow mold. Looks a lot nicer. Um, and, and it's a better diecast, too. I mean, like, pink works, but, I mean, like, red works better. But I understand it's for it's, it's for a good cause. Breast cancer awareness or whatever that is for that they do at the Rovo. I think that was right at the Rovo. Because I know that some, some cars... I've, Breast cancer worse than the robot. I don't know. I don't. Don't take me for that. I could be wrong. I think Chase Elliott ran a car, a Hooters breast uh, cancer awareness car, Texas, whatever. I bet that might not even be. I don't know. I apologize if I got that whole thing wrong. But saw that cast. Um, we'll give it a nine out of ten because I like it red and red and um what red and black like the Josh Berry. Like it 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 works. It's cla It's a classic combo, but it works. It's awesome. Let's move on to the next diecast. All right, we got Alex Bowman's 2023 48 Ally Chevrolet Camaro. Let's unbox it. Moving this out of the way, Alex Bowman Ally. Do it right. 48. Here's the actual diecast. This thing is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's unique. I've said that for like five diecasts. I've said that word probably the most common word I've used. It. Ironic. Unique is not ironic. Or unique is not common. What is wrong with me? Gee Louise, I'm doing a good job today. Uh, but the, 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 it's, I would say it was unique because usually the ally diecasts that have started with like Jimmy Johnson back in 2020 have had, they've been white. And I mean like but the 2021 card wasn't white, but I mean like the 2022 one was and now we're back to, now we're back to the, uh, the black. I mean it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of different colors. Purple, we got the blue in there, uh, the number right there. But looking at this, it is very nice. I like it. It works. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Why not? And uh, spoiler alert, here comes another 10 out of 10 with this next diecast. Oh, baby. May I introduce to you uh, currently my favorite 2023 diecast, Chase Elliott's number 9 Hooters. This 
looks awesome. It looks vibrant. It looks good. I I don't know. I was gonna say this for last, but then I kind of wanted to put two ten out of tens in. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I got we got one more after this, but it's still it's a box. This thing. Okay, number nine Hooters Chase Elliott. Uh, just putting that there. Here comes the die cast. Here is the die cast. This looks good. Uh, okay, I don't know about y'all, but this looks really good. Hooter, there we go. Because he's none of that. Yeah. Got a little streaks of blue there. Got some black. Got some orange there. It's different because usually, like, the Hooters die cast, it's been like. It, like a 20, like 2017 and 18 was like it was like some white or whatever but then they exchanged to like a lot of orange was that a uh, night owl car for chase Elliott, which that is another one of my favorite diecasts this one's similar but it's got some blue in it and it works it's a 10 out of 10 it's a thing of beauty i'm not be biased because i'm a chase Elliott fan i actually really like this diecast it's awesome let's move on to the last diecast slash truck I don't know why I said slash truck, because trucks are also die cast, but last, car slash truck, there we go, because this is a truck, it's Zane Smith's 2022, Spico, truck champion win, when he won the championship last fall uh, in November for the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Championship, good for him, and yeah, let's unbox it. This would also be my first time getting a Zane Smith truck here, or die cast of any kind, Spico number 38, dragging that out of the way, here's the actual die cast. Or truck, yeah. Ugh, why do I keep thinking trucks and diecasts are a different thing? It's they're not. It's cars and trucks that are a different thing. Thirty eight Speedco loves. We get the loves version in the uh, winter circle, which I kind of want to go to Target and pick that up one time, and that'll be another unboxing, hopefully. Uh, so there's, there's like three that I want to get though. Only three because they're like seven ninety nine, and I don't have a lot of money. I'm sorry, <laughs> so I need to save it. Uh, anyways, cause, and a lot of them are like. Like, they're the same diecasts that I've had and that have been in previous waves, and I don't know. The only difference is that they're wind diecasts. It's a little bit different. Uh, but anyways, uh, the diecast is nice. Uh, I just hate that the uh, that uh, that is has a championship. I understand. I mean, it's the champion, but I mean, like, still, like, you kind of have to put, like, a 30 in front of it if you don't like it. But the diecast itself is good. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, it, it's really nice. And that is it for the 2023 Wave 4 um, NASCAR Authentics unboxing reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. That way you never miss any videos like this one. Do it as a suggestion because as always, I don't support clout. But anyways, I'll see you guys for the next unboxing reviews. And the next video that should be out tomorrow for the NFC East 2023 NFL NFC East. Schedule predictions should be out tomorrow. So see you guys then. Bye.